as long as the artist is good with whatever's going out, like that, that means what I want it to mean. Send it out. Yeah. Hit the presses. I think it all depends. I mean, you have your situationals, right? I think Thriller's one. This is the Amer this is yeah. America's perfect example. Yeah. It's a good song, but that video is what makes that song what it is, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't like this, and that's. I know you took from it, you know, from the song itself, but I mean on a broad appeal from America, right? Yeah. There or way more people that were able to understand what that song was about or what his intent was at least through that video at least what we assume his intent was yeah, right, right through that video do i have more than if you were to just no you interpret <laughs> your interpretation skills are are much much different you know it's mm -hmm. i can i i have no problem being moved by watching or hearing people say things that are moving mm -hmm. but if i have to interpret what you're saying into my own emotion I'm not, I have, problem. I, I have no problem as saying here, and I've said to you before, I have, I sometimes have concerns about my inability to process things like that. I don't see it. They don't show up to me. It concerns me to a certain extent that, that they doesn't, I don't interpret emotion that way through other people's art, through, through, even through largely through imagery. I do. Mm -hmm. I have a difficult time seeing a photo that someone has taken and extrapolating all of the emotion, you know, mm -hmm. some things, obviously there's like, um, a really good example is like, there's an image in, in Vietnam of, of a girl, a, a young, young girl, girl who's, who's running, running away, away from, from napalm, napalm bombing, bombing and like, like her clothes have been burned off. off. It's pretty, pretty easy for me to see that and see what, what the point is yeah. of this photograph, you know, but yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot of other shit that is not, if it's, it's not, not straightforward, I'm very unlikely to see it at first glance that's just not how my brain works yeah. you know so what you're saying is i'm just more emotional than you that's i wouldn't I would, def I would definitely not disagree with you i wouldn't disagree with you that's not um <clears throat> Want to take a second real quick and thank everybody who's watching us here on youtube.com slash salt of the streets we also have our instagram.com slash salt of the streets we have Facebook right, called Facebook.com slash Salt of the Streets, Patreon.com slash Salt of the Streets, Discord that you can also access through the Patreon. We have our own personal social media. I am at Salt of the Streets on Twitter and at Alpaca underscore Donovan on Instagram. Colin is at Big Bird Offy on both of those things. You can find all this on Salt of the Streets.com. Obviously, Movember is still happening right now. This is the last episode we'll have during Movember. If you want to donate, it's a great foundation. Go to Movember.com. Search for my name. We also have Swab Blended. If you need a haircut over the next few weeks, go to SwabBlended.com. Get yourself a haircut. If you need a skateboard, go to Location Skate Shop. Leggings and aprons on Instagram. Lexi Kyle on Twitch. PNW Nils and Upper Left, obviously. On Spotify, on iTunes, on anywhere. Colin is trying to get the patch out of his shirt so he can show you. You guys have, have you guys both been down to Location Skate Shop? I still need to go, man. But when I go, though, I'm about to splurge. It's dope. It's, it's a great. Go today. It's, it's a cool shop. shop. When we promote them every time, because they made the front page of Kids Have Business Journal this month. By it's the way. crazy. Yeah, congrats to them. We promote them every time because when I went down there and I was talking to Ryan about it, his goal for just having a place, a positive place for children in our community to exist at and not get in trouble. I think is desperately in need in this area. As somebody who's lucky to have not been arrested, but has caused more than my fair share of trouble in my community, yeah. I think that if you had a place for children in need to be productive in a way that is not school or some type of organized event, you can skate on the street in front of location, I think that's a fantastic thing. So we've been over time just because I think that it's, and they shut down that street all the time for all kinds of different things. And as soon as they do, they wax up the fucking street. So that's the one that's kind of meandering. Yes. Yes. Fourth street. Yeah, no, it's great. I got a problem. I got the project right around the corner. Yes, exactly. Um, so yes, as I said, obviously, PNW News in the upper left on Spotify, on iTunes, on everywhere, YouTube, Dr. Sly, obviously YouTube, Instagram, most of the work right now. I believe that that's everything. Um, so I wanted to reference one more thing because John, you were talking about the strikingness of the music videos, and one thing that made me think of was Rihanna's fashion shows, right? The last couple of fashion shows that she's done. Jordan is obviously, you know, she's a huge into fashion and stuff. So Rihanna's fashion shows, she has her own line, you know. Yeah. And there, have you watched any of these? Mm -hmm. oh, I haven't watched it. No, you guys should check them out. They're on Prime, um, free, and so I, you both enjoy them, I think, because they're intertwined, obviously, with uh, dominant music at the time, and huge organized dance numbers and large casts of people in very extravagant venues, and it, it's very cool. They're, it's cool to watch. I don't give a fuck about fashion. The organization of it, like you were talking about, being able to logistically figure something like that out, is incredible. 
to watch 200 people dance in an organized fashion in her clothing in a weird environment to someone else's music is very cool to watch you know so yeah i would definitely recommend that because i think that that speaks to what john was talking about bringing a whole new aspect to her fashion that's just another way for her to control in a positive way control the narrative around her line this is how i'm viewing it this is what i want you to see this this is my fashion line you know what i'm saying and it's a completely different take on it than just having to walk down a catwalk and walk back it's like it's a like, whole controlled experience because she also has she's also expressing herself through like john was saying she has people of all kinds of different body types there are obese people there are super skinny people there are people who are missing limbs there are people who are you know uh have vitiligo and all, all kinds of different things anybody that she could find that represents a different aspect optically of america or of the world she has found to be in this music video or in this fashion show um that is effectively a series of music videos done through this fashion show it's very interesting as long as she's not bringing anything from her acting career from like battleship then she's I'm not in. there's no acting <laughs> in it no she was in home dax loves the movie home home, yeah. home is an animated movie that also has jim parsons in it yeah. about yeah. aliens yeah. who you've, you've seen this yeah, movie. yeah about yeah. aliens who come to earth and they take all the people it's really fucked up if you think about it they take all the people out of their homes and they put them in organized communities that are enormous circles where they don't have yards but there's like a big fair in the middle and that's where all the people get to live and all of the boove that's what they're called the boove. take everyone's houses the boove yeah, runs they're terrible. the boove are afraid of everything and so they're consistently running from this same other alien species that they're competing with and this one little girl rihanna a pixar movie um uh, i think it's dreamworks. Dreamworks. dreamworks yeah it's a dreamworks movie um and rihanna plays a little girl who does not get abducted but her mom does and so the jim parsons obviously is uh he actually doesn't take her house but they run into each other yeah. and then they are going on adventures he's a huh. runaway boo because he keeps fucking up um there's a great I'm actually really glad that we brought this up because there's <laughs> I am I'm working on God damn it John maybe you can help me with this because I hate I hate computers right so I <laughs> I just I've problem. not even attempted right but there's a scene very short scene in this movie where Jim Parsons alien is arguing with <clears throat> Steve fucking Carell nope with white hair <laughs> Steve Martin. Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. Steve Martin plays um, Captain Smek, who is the leader of these aliens. And there is a moment where they're having an argument where Jim Parsons is saying that he wouldn't fuck up again. And Steve Martin says, but you might. And they go back and forth and say, but I wouldn't, but you might, but I wouldn't, but you might. And it's so perfect for like coronavirus restrictions and they're like, oh, well, God. but you might. Or, well, but I would do it, but you might. <laughs> and eventually he just fucking smacks him on the head and walks away and just like ends the con it's That sounds I'm, real familiar. I'm telling you, <laughs> it is the perfect gif for so many different political things of like, well, you might do it, but I would never do that, but you might, you know? Fuck you. Yeah, no, it's, it's perfect. Jesus. That's really funny. That's totally okay. I'm, I, every time I see it, I'm like, God, I got to mention this to Colin. Like, that's so perfect. <laughs> that is so And funny. I obviously don't. I hate computers so much and I'm so intimidated by it. I've not even attempted yeah. to find just a way. The... Just that little, it's maybe 10 seconds. Yeah. Not even tried. Because you could, you could instantly put, you know, U.S. citizen and government on it and it would be perfect. Yeah. And you could just put it right out and it would be 100% keen. And I've not seen it anywhere. We could make millions. So we could make millions. I don't know how, but it's we can make millions. <laughs> so. Welcome to the salt of the streets. Coming at you every week. With this food for thought, hope you're ready to eat.